I have forgotten to say that on our arrival, many Malayan children come in bankas saying to us, Alamer, Alamer, Alur, so that we would throw them coins, astonishing our their skill and agility. They are like fishes. For two cents, they jump into the water and pick them up. And I found the Mayordomo, a sort of Lalaari who speaks Spanish, English, French, Malayan, and German. Almost everybody rides except the poor Chinese. I saw the court where Englishmen were playing ball. I saw the Maharaja of Rahor with their beautiful carriages drawn by big horses. I saw Chinese women with the smallest feet but I didn't see either Indian or Malayan. I asked about them and I was told that they stayed at home. Welcome to the I waited for a long time for supper. At last, it came after I had lived through an illustrated German magazine with beautiful drawings. Mr. Rizal, dinner is served. I nodded my head to the housekeeper and eventually made my way to the dining table where I saw two fine gentlemen who will accompany me with my dinner. In the dining table, we talked about lots of things, mainly about Singapore, other places and culture. Also, there's a touch of intelligence with these two young men with each other's company and late evening. There was neither order nor coordination in the service. Here, I ate rice which was inferior to ours. The pineapples, though small, were sweet and tasted good. The banana, bad. Tomorrow, I'll visit the town. I hired a carriage for a day and went around town. I went to the botanical garden, seeing on the way the Armenian cemetery. The road is beautiful, shaded by trees, beautiful bridges, and charming houses. I also saw statues, lanterns, Colors, dragons, sculptures, and even more dragons. Finally, I'm here in the botanical garden where I saw lots of species of plants and animals. There are birds, flowers, and small insects as well. I found a small place to sit where I can sketch the animals. Come, come. El gato. El gato. El gato. El gato. I approached an Englishman who was walking around and asked him if there was a uh, logical garden in the area. Yes. Uh, do you know where is the zoological garden? Oh, there's no zoological garden here. I uh, know. No. Okay. Thank you. He said there was none. I went away then, looked for a coach, and went back. around the botanical garden. I saw a lot of greens, some birds, flowers, I examined the flower, the leaves,
I look at the sky several times to see its magnificent colors. I return to the inn, fretting, and gave the driver two duros for my whole trip that day. After a while, they called us to supper and had the chance to sit beside the drunk Englishman. He was talking in French so that we can converse. He was drunk and he repeated to me the same phrases. At last, we understood each other. He hardly ceased talking until the end of the supper when I had the chance to sneak away and to leave him alone. After a short walk, I went up to my room to write. At 2 o'clock in the afternoon after luncheon, we went to the pier to board Gemna, who spent 2 pesos for the pair as well as for the use of the coach that day. Singapore is a modern city. It was intensely developed and it is very interesting. Especially did the assured position of the natives confident in their rights and not fearful of the authorities. Great was the contrast between the fear of the rulers in the Philippines and the confidence of which the natives of Singapore seem to have in their government. I went up to the deck and there I found the courteous Messrs. Salazar and Pardo who called me and greeted me asking me about my help. Our conversation dealt naturally about the excellence of the Gemna. It surpasses all praise and all the descriptions I could make of it. It is enough to say that everything is shining for its cleanliness. Copper, iron, ink, and wood. It is large, very large. Its length must be 150 bars and its width about 10 or 12. The cabin is beautiful, clean, and well ventilated. There are large halls with rugs and also the bathrooms are excellent. As I go examining the ship more slowly, in the deck, I met this Malaysian who could not speak French nor English. To converse with her, I used signs. But nevertheless, the effort was futile. So we just passed our ways.